Hello dancers, welcome to week three of online learning. I'm just checking in to see how you are and where you are and what you're up to during this time where we are experiencing social distancing. I just wanna remind you that we are using two different online learning platforms. Um, most of your classes have switched to Teams, which I'm going to use to communicate with you and post announcements. It also has a really easy chat feature that if you need to just send me a quick message, it's so much easier than sending an email. So feel free to chat with me if you have any questions. But I do want you to remember that no assignments and no work will be submitted on Teams. We are going to continue using Canvas just like we have all year. I just wanna remind you that all past assignments are posted there and available for you to submit if you haven't submitted them or redo if you need to redo them for um, extra points or any reason. Um, there, I am posting a new dance combination every day, so there's no reason not to be moving during this time. But this is where you will turn in all items to me and receive feedback on the work that you are doing to improve your grade. All right, in Canvas, there um, are a couple of things that I need you to remember and be aware of. I have individually sent you a message if you are missing any assignments. In last week's check-in, week two's uh, video, I showed you exactly where. So if you don't know where those messages are, you can either message me through Teams or you can go back to the week two video and find out how to access your inbox in Canvas. As I said, um, we're posting a new combination every single day. So in this quarter four supplemental learning, that is the module that has all of the new materials for um, this time away. So I have a video that kind of explains in there where it says welcome and instructions, it kind of explains how everything is set up. There's a warm up and combinations. All of our combinations from all year are in there for warm ups and things. So it get you stretching, get you working on some abs, get you um, up and moving and just stretching. It feels so good since we're sitting most of the day watching Netflix, watching online learning. It's good to get up and get moving. And then every single one of these is a different combination taught by a different teacher. Um, every day throughout the district. So there's a lot of really interesting things there. My goal for you is to try at least one a week and do your best, do the best you can with it. Also, there is a new talent show composition module that I just posted yesterday. So it is called virtual talent show composition module. Um, and this is all of the assignments. So Mr. Varela has taken it upon himself to do like a little social distancing, um, uh, talent show so that everybody can feel connected during this crazy time. So if you want to participate, you need to submit a video to him on April 20th. Now, all of that information about how to submit to him was posted yesterday. So go back and check that or again, chat with me if you have any questions about that. The time limit for the virtual talent show is 30 seconds to two minutes. All right. The first round needs to be within that time. And if you're accepted into the final round, you can have a little bit longer of a time limit. If you want to participate and create new choreography and perform, I encourage you to do a couple small extra steps for me, and then you can get a major assessment grade totally boosted by participating in this. Okay. So if you go through the steps of this module, one, it's the same process that we went through the choreographic process for your four elements. So it's something you're super familiar with, but it'll also help you build more meaningful composition that will hopefully um, really stand out in the talent show auditions. So um, number here, three, you'll see here, create movements. This is where you're gonna submit a first showing to me, okay? And I will happily give you feedback. And then you can finish up your composition and here where step five number perform, you'll submit a final video for me. These um, assignments walk you through the whole choreographic process step by step so that you'll be ready to um, really rock that uh, talent show audition. Again, if you are want to participate in the talent show, that is due to Mr. Varela by Monday, April 20th. However, if you are just going to compose because you want to compose a new piece of composition to improve your grade, you have to work through these process steps as well. Okay. All right, we need you to stay connected. We need you to stay engaged. Please make sure you're checking in with your advisory teacher. 
Your advisory teacher should have called, messaged, harassed you last week to make sure that they stay connected. So please do your best effort to stay connected. Please respond to my emails, messages, and posts. Some of you I've sent multiple messages to asking you to complete additional work um, or to get assignments turned into me, and I haven't heard anything. Um, I simply want you to respond and say, Miss Stannis, I'm okay with my grade. I'm not going to do any more work or uh, with any questions you might have, any sort of information is great. Um, I feel a little unconnected from you and I just wanna know where you are and what's going on. Complete this form. This right here is a link and uh, let me know what your plan is. I wanna know if you are doing these combinations. I wanna know if you are um, still dancing and moving and if, you're, if you need any additional help or resources from me, I'm happy to do anything I can there are a ton of free resources out there right now because of this global pandemic that I'm trying to post as much as I can in Canvas or on the Metro Tech Dance Facebook and Instagram pages as I see them. So there's no reason not to keep moving. Now, here's a message from me to you. I'm gonna be super honest. I've been a little down and a little bummed out and a little depressed this past week because I miss moving. Our bodies are now used to moving all day, every day, walking around and we've gone to sitting. So if you are a little bummed out, a little blue, a little feeling a little sad, pick a combination. Start with something fun like Mr. Lerma's voguing combination or Miss Wright's street jazz or something silly like we're all in this together and just get up and get moving because it will totally change your day. I miss you. I hope that you're all doing well. Please know that I'm here and how you can access me. Um, I'm happy to do anything I can for you, okay? Have a great week three of virtual learning.